All right, get ready, get set, folks out there for Taste Along with Adam the Wine Guy. Here we are, numero seven, Kaki, the oldest producer in Portugal. That's right, late 1600s, folks, these people were making port. Uh, this one happens to be the 2000 vintage. Uh, I've tasted vintage of theirs going back to the 50s um, and still showing beautifully. Uh, port only can come from Portugal. That's right. Otherwise, it's a port-style wine. Remember that, everybody. Remember that. Port from Portugal. Ladies and gentlemen, this one happens to be from the Douro. This, the 2000 vintage. Uh, port is only made in vintage years when they feel that the grapes are awesome. And uh, 2000 was a stellar vintage. Let's get a little bit in the glass and get down to business. I mean, shoot, that's what you guys are tuning in for. Is it not, or is it? Or is it not, or is it that is the question so we got the port in the glass and the color is unbelievable these vintage ports generally have really really deep extraction on the color I can't even see my thumb through this glass that's for sure and you know when you're looking at, uh, at the color and the quality of this wine or any wine you always want to look through the wine you don't want to do this it's tough to see there's no background there's nothing going on so really we're looking through this wine give it a whip Super, super deep. Uh, port, as everybody knows, it's a fortified wine. Um, one of its initial purposes intended so that uh, that wine would travel really around with uh, sailors, pirates, whatever, back in the day, and um, it would hold up over those long journeys with no refrigeration. And this one, really, really, really rich. We get a lot of those coffees and a lot of those deep caramel notes. Um, toasted fruit pie notes just delicious and the best part about any port the people you share it with and the way to share it really you got to put some in your mouth so let's do that let's rock and roll with a little bit of this Kopke port and you've seen these labels before each one they're all hand painted mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And the best way, really, to enjoy port is you just kind of let it sit on your palate for a minute. And you really let those flavors sort of rock around, all around your taste buds. And this one has just touches of acidity, but this really rounded quality of nice toasty wood, caramels, um, baked fruits, berries, deep berries. The finish just keeps going and going and going and going. This 2000 cocky would be like the energy bunny or energizer bunny of ports, really, with its finish. That's for sure. We'll be tasting them again in the future. Keep your eyes peeled. The cocky 2000 vintage port.